The Placer County District Attorney is warning people about rainbow-colored fentanyl that is targeting minors. The county says they have seen a 450% increase in fentanyl deaths since 2018. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo is live in the studio tonight. And Bridget, you spoke to a mother who lost her son to fentanyl? That's right, Chris. And it comes at a time when nearly half the people who die from fentanyl in Placer County are under 25 years old. Much of it is being advertised to teens on social media places like Snapchat. And many parents, like the one you're about to meet tonight, don't know this is even happening. And some teens, like her son, pay a deadly price. The day and age of, of experimentation um, being relatively harmless is over. It's Russian roulette out there. You might try something and it's your first or second time and that's all it takes. And one counterfeit pill laced with fentanyl was all it took to kill Laura Didier's 17 year old son Zach in 2020. At the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, a bright eyed senior of Whitney High School in Rockland purchased what he thought was Percocet marketed on Snapchat to cope with stress, a decision that would cost him his young promising life. I wish I would have known about fentanyl. I just, I wish I would have known that that needed to be part of our, any drug conversation that we had. I really believe he would have, have made a, a different choice if he'd really understood um, what was out there. Now, dealers are taking a new approach to appeal to young people like Zach with this rainbow colored fentanyl making its rounds in Placer County. We are in epidemic proportions of the fentanyl crisis. The district attorney says the colorful drug is just as deadly as the white powder. All it takes is two milligrams, a pinch the size of this penny. We will continue to hold dealers accountable, but really the messages have to start with the parents and the kids uh, and have discussions about what is affecting kids and what is creating a desire to want to experiment with with ultimately deadly street drugs. He says the county saw a 450% increase in fentanyl deaths since 2018, with the deadly drug even discovered in some marijuana and vaping products. All the more reason that Laura says open conversations about the dangers need to be had early and often. <laughs> because doing so may have kept her son alive. I know he won't be forgotten and I just, I know he'd want us to help other people. You know, I know that's what he would want us to do, not want us to know all of this and not warn other kids his age. Local counties are trying to crack down on this and make an example of dealers who target kids online.